Because we have a large number of individuals in this area with Parkinson's disease, we see a broad spectrum of impairments. For the study that we are doing currently, it involves individuals coming in for a single visit. We have those little markers and those muscle sensors placed on them. Uh, then we have them walk in our volume, uh, where we have them do standard functional tasks. We have them do some balance tasks, including dynamic balance tasks, where we have them move in a specific pattern, as well as static balance tasks, where we have them standing still and we see how they can maintain their balance. When we observe someone moving, they're telling us how their brain-body interaction is trying to solve a problem. We're looking to ways in which you can facilitate an individual's ability to do that and do it through rigorous science. From our perspective, we want to challenge them as best we can, find out how they are maintaining their balance, what are the, what are the specific issues that are causing them to uh, potentially have an increased likelihood of a fall, and then develop interventions or rehabilitation sessions that we can focus on those things so that we can ultimately improve their function and reduce the likelihood of a fall. As compassionate scientists, we do receive a great deal of satisfaction from knowing that the person who participated in their study may receive some benefit from what we're studying. Good job, Marge. Keep those toes straight, looking straight ahead, shoulders back, nice and tall. Good. We can do a lot of good and help a lot of people by having a better understanding of what the issues are related to how they move and potentially improving their quality of life.